Hello, hello. Good morning and uh, blessings to you. I'm uh, very uh, excited to be able to put this clip into this video and get it out to, to everybody. Uh, yesterday we were on the uh, uh, On Passivian Passion webinar, which was uh, Singapore with uh, Mabel and, and Jeannie and uh, Deb and some others, obviously. And so I took my speaking portion and I plugged it in here. But what I really would like you to do is to go to Mabel's or this website, the, the YouTube, you know, and like and subscribe to them. Um, there are a couple of songs here. Uh, the first one uh, up is one that's called um, On Passive, The Beautiful. And I want to thank uh, Bill Musk Productions for, for putting the, uh, uh, the graphics in there for me. And uh, the second one is one that's called On Passive is The Way. And that was done, the music was done by Renata uh, Korsik and uh, Tim Johnson's playing the guitar there, beautifully so. So I certainly appreciate them uh, as well. And these songs are available for, uh, you know, on Passivians to do whatever they want. Um, today in the, the speaking portion, we'll be talking about Mr. Ash Mufara's heart, defining passion, you know, what jazzes me up, how I plan to use O Bless, how O Bless is going to make the world a better place, you know, the quality for it, uh, that sort of thing. We'll also be doing updates and uh, that sort of stuff from uh, Mr. Bufar the last couple of days. So I hope you really enjoy it. I thank you so very much. And I wish blessing and blessing upon you. Thank you. How eager, filled, yet easy going, as gentle as the breeze. On passive now we'll show you how to move your life with ease. We'll grow in grace to run the race, to seed our members' dreams. While value grows, abundance flows in everlasting streams. How wonderfully the borders fade to bridge the mighty seas, where culture blends have made new friends and spreads our love with ease. Our truth is real and we can feel the benefit for all. No limits here, we have no fear and we are standing tall. How beautiful, how full of love, compassion overflows to share the things on passive brings till everybody knows on passive here on passive here to set the captive free we fill the heart and do our part to lift humanity I want to thank everybody here, uh, Mabel. I, I, w I certainly wouldn't be here without you, and you know, without uh, Deb McCormick. Uh, another big influencer for me, obviously, is Dr. Bill Williams, and even our favorite uh, Dr. Benny here, who have also been instrumental in in getting me where I go sometimes. So thank you so very, very much for that. I certainly appreciate that. Um, you know, this evening. We've got a lot of things that are going to be kind of fun. Um, we're going to be going through some things about Mr. Mafar and his heart, defining uh, passion, uh, talking a bit about what drives me or what what jazzes me up, kind of, you know, and how I plan to use O Bless and 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 how O Bless is going to be uh, able to to make the world a better place. Uh, so I'll actually go into that in in some detail and even talk about, how, you know, what, what it would be good to be like or what kind of a quality would be nice to have for uh, Oblast. And then we'll go into some updates. Uh, as we all know, Mr. Mufara showed up uh, not only on 360, but also on Robin and Live last night. 
by doing a wonderful job about giving us some some hints about what's coming. So we've got some good things going on. We're going to start uh, right off the bat, I think, with um, Mr. Mufar's heart, which is near and dear to all. You know, I mean, wow. I mean, we could talk about that for quite a while. So first of all, yeah, uh, Mr. Mr. Mufar's heart is is relevant. It's foundational to what we're doing in on passive. I mean. <laughs> He is, after all, the heart and mind behind that radical business that we all love and that we all know as the paradigm shift that is on passive, right? So in looking at his heart, I took a look at his leadership first and I thought, wow, you know, his leadership clearly demonstrates a heart for people. It clearly demonstrates that he has a purpose-driven will, right? We talked about that, the will and the resources to do what he's got in his heart and his vision. And he has a very real love and substantial love for technology. And when you put those three things together, man, he's really got some magic going on. He is a very well-respected humanitarian uh, entrepreneur that uses his understanding, his intellect, if you will, his passions with heart, right? Combined with heart to see people, you, me, the entirety of the world, if it, you know it's possible, brought either into success or into greater success, which is to say that if if people join us that are not successful, you will find success here. If you are successful and join us, then what you'll find here is an opportunity and a platform to enrich and to further your success. So he also uses his brain power, so to speak, and his heart to power the vision that he has, right? And that vision is one that fosters uh, global economic change, and it serves to, to raise the human condition. And that is very plainly and clearly seen in our vision statement. And I would encourage anybody that can to go look that up. And that vision, as high powered as it is, was birthed out of Mr. Mufara's heart, out of his compassion. It's a vision that's timely. Um, it's a vision that's connected to uh, global economics. Um, and it's also collected or connected rather to, to uh, human consciousness in a way because it's a vision that creates long-term solutions serving to lift humanity. <clears throat> so uh, I did say consciousness, okay, which is uh, actually, it's, it, it's an elevated awareness because Mr. Mufara also demonstrates an understanding of these things and he broadly relates them in what we've come to to see as life lessons, you know, life sessions that he goes into, he he waxes philosophical sometimes, and we're privy to that on his webinars. And during these times, he uh, he deeply models selflessness and compassion, and he mentors us, the entirety of the founder base, and now streaming uh, YouTube live, a lot of other people, uh, well beyond the scope of of just products and profits for a business. This is simply because he is a visionary and he's got some free flowing compassion and that's what makes his heart what it is and why it's so valuable. And he's taken what he has in his heart and he's woven that, if you will, in a, a stream of goodwill sort of, that shows how to provide abundance <clears throat> and value. Uh, he, he streams out, you know, equity and fairness in his business, but he does it right alongside of AI, machine learning in particular. And that combination of AI became what he talked about yesterday, his AI with heart. We talk about that rather often. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, no other company in the world can tout having that, right? Nobody can say we have AI with heart. That is absolutely unique to Mr. Mufara's heart and business. And that's the one component, <clears throat> excuse me, that automatically dissolves, I guess is a good word, greed 
and unethical practices in business, specifically through on passive. Yeah. So even on passive software is the result of what he has in his heart, right? Through compassionate action, right? He's developed this software and it's been brought about by Mr. Mufar's fast held, heartfelt beliefs, if you will. And because of this, we can also rightfully say that we are the correction to the corruption. He mentions that quite often. I know we talk about it. And again, there's no other company on the planet that can rightfully say that. But it's not just a one-time thing, right? I mean, he is continually, again, as he alluded to yesterday, developing new ideas and new ways of implementing those ideas that empower us, every one of us, to lift humanity by helping others to achieve the success we're talking about. And that relates to giving people total freedom, which breaks down into obviously time and money, right? We've talked about that too, remember? Catmo, right? But it's not all about the money. It's about being trustworthy. It's about a trustworthy business. And it's about allowing those with a good intention to be able to make a difference in the right way. It's about providing the tools needed for what we're supposed to be doing as a member of the human race. Those things that have to do with um, compassion, kindness, unity, and even creativity. And I am, as you so well pointed out beginning this, Mabel, very proud to be a part of this vision and this company. And without on passive being seated by the contents of Mr. Mufara's heart, that wouldn't have been possible for any of us. So I, I wanna thank you very, very much for giving me the latitude to kind of speak my heart about Mr. Mufara's heart. Now, you also asked about, about passion, you know, what I thought passion was in defining passion. And when I think of passion, I think of a driving force that moves us or me in a particular direction for a particular reason. And to me, passion is a very strong emotion that powerfully motivates us. Uh, it helps us and uh, it gets us to activate our human will, if you will, um, and, and gives us a purpose, so to speak. <clears throat> it's something that fuels our activity toward accomplishing a goal. Uh, and that oftentimes is and certainly true in Mr. Mufar's case, is regardless of the hardships we face and regardless of the hoops or the hurdles that we have to go through. And I think there's many of us here that can certainly identify with that. And it's also something, passion is also something that fuels us and at the same time can even replenish us when we're feeling down or weak and, and just we need something. It can replenish us. And it's the one thing, passion is the one thing that can keep us going, that can keep us moving in the right direction. And in this way, our passion uh, indicates our, our what our true north is, right? It leads us, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, thank you. It leads us in a way to our calling. Uh, to our purpose in life. It enables uh, greater fulfillments for us and for who we are. But whatever we say it is, passion is an emotion uh, to be acted upon. And so the results of our passion <clears throat> comes out in compassionate action. We're all about that. Our passion is all about that. And ultimately, our passions, whether great or small, are the driving force behind what we do. And this is certainly applicable and true to the creation of On Passive because that's what it stands for. Heart and doing what's right because it's right and doing it for the right reasons so that we can lift humanity. Now, Mabel, you also asked me, yeah, Jeffrey, what, what drives you? And I kind of tell people, you know, what really gets me jazzed up is that I love to search out truth in whatever form I can find it and share it. And I realized <laughs> that's, that's probably a little undefined. So let me see if I can get 
a little esoterical. I don't know, uh, Gene Oliva, if you're in here, maybe you could help me explain this a bit. <laughs> but I believe that what I see, what I experience in others is simply um, the reflections of certain aspects of me. Now, you heard me talk about polarity and duality of life. You know, every stick you pick up has got two ends. So on the other end of that, I also believe that what others see in me are the reflection of certain aspects of themselves. And this means that when people uh, might act toward me in ways that appear positive or friendly or encouraging, <laughs> it simply means to me that I'm doing a pretty good job in whatever area of life for me that reflects. And when people act toward me in ways that perhaps are a little negative or maybe a little unfriendly or hurtful even, then it means that perhaps those areas I need to do a little more work in. So the perspective that I have here in, in this allows me to grow from the inside out. And this is the journey that I'm on to purposefully and willfully, right? Uh, consciously, if you will, evolve in a way into a greater awareness of God and love and life and creation. So when we get back to passion, you know, what is passion and what's my passion, that would be sharing my journey, right? Which is everybody's journey. Um, or more specifically, I guess it's sharing with others the things that I'm learning on this journey um, of what I call a consciousness evolution, you know, learning who we are in God and, and attaining to be more like him, um, you know, as far as uh, exhibiting or emulating uh, un unconditional love and that sort of thing. And it's why I'm so actively engaged in Unpassing. It's the reason for the books that I've write, uh, written, and it's the reason for all the content that I put on both YouTube channels. So, I mean, that's that's why I do what I do. Now, again, <laughs> Mabel, you said, well, how, how are you going to take that passion that you've got and, and what jazzes you up and use that in Oblast? Well, uh, quite a few years ago, I used to help manage a renewable energy company. Uh, we used to design and install uh, solar electric systems, photovoltaic systems, uh, solar thermal, which is just heat coming from solar, generally in water or some other fluid, uh, and wind turbines, you know, windmills, wind turbine systems. So I've got somewhat of a green heart, but do you guys know the technology exists right now to produce inexhaustible, sustainable green energy that uses no external fuel source, no oils, gases, no fossil fuels, uh, or external fuels of any kind? Yeah, you crank it up and it goes, and it just goes. You don't add; it just goes and goes and goes and goes, right? Did you know the technology exists to wipe out world hungry, hunger right now? Did you know the technology is here that we could end the world water crisis in less than five years? The technology exists right now. I mean, we could replenish reservoirs. We could refill dams, right? We can create water out of thin air, provide unlimited, clean, sustainable, renewable water systems at every point on the globe. And these are just some of the, 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 the tips of various icebergs that are out there regarding what we could be doing. And my passion will eventually express itself in the creation of an Oblis account that's going to be able to pump financial resources into these sectors so that we can develop these sectors, we can develop this technology further, and uh, we need to be ramping up the manufacturing of this uh, technology into the, the the machinery and the, and the resources for it. And we need to create a distribution network that allows this abundance to flow everywhere across the planet. Now, Mr. Mufara has spoken about this. It's near and dear to his own heart. And he says, look, we don't create wealth. It exists. It, abundance exists. We just have to figure out how to take what we've got and get it to where it needs to be. So that's what I planned on doing. Uh, and I'm sure I'll do a lot of other things. So, and I was also asked, how do I think um, Oblast is going to help make the world a better place? <laughs> Which, I mean, that would be an absolutely no-brainer, right? I mean, 
uh, Old Blast gives the world a platform that anyone with an internet connection can use. It's a platform that uh, fosters selflessness. Uh, it turns the user's passion, what jazzes them up, into a, a an avenue of compassionate action for the greater good, to, to help humanity or to help whatever the cause is. It's a platform that is not a respecter of persons. And by that, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're strong or weak or rich or poor or whether you're handsome or not. It doesn't matter what your culture is or your skin color is. Doesn't matter what your geolocation, where you're located on the earth. And none of it matters. It's a platform that can be used to champion anyone's causes. I mean, okay, providing they're legitimate. It's got, it's got to be legitimate, okay? Now, perhaps we'll use it to raise funds for some, uh, you know, a much needed medical procedure for friend or family member, or perhaps even uh, rebuilding after a local disaster or catastrophe. But even more than that, even bigger than that, it's going to allow a lot of people to bring their personal humanitarian aspirations to life bigger than life even right and think about what it would mean to create uh obless accounts to provide uh, water food shelter health care energy systems i mean you name it right there's no limit there, there there's nothing stopping us from coming up with these ideas and helping so that we can send these things and do it with millions of people all over the world so i mean what's your passion Endangered species, maybe? I know people that want to try to give personhood to the great ape, but I mean, that's not my not, that's not my stick, but hey, right? Go for it, right? I mean, pick something and just, oh, bless it. Oh, bless it. I think uh, Chris came up with that. Uh, you know, recycling landfills, oh, bless it, right? You got a local charity, oh, bless it, right? Whatever the need, Wherever it is, Old Bless can be the digital touch point that brings magnificent funding solutions to these very real needs through a very ethical platform that's powered, right, with a superior functionality through an AI-driven platform that brings it into a position of global access for global awareness. Now, Mabel, you also asked, you know, hey, what is one quality or virtue that would be good to have or effectively uh, have for using Obless, you know, to make the world a better place, um, to 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 be in line with on passives mission, you know, for for lifting humanity and doing what's right, and well, I, I should probably. Well, let me talk a little bit about, about Obless. Right? I mean, Obless is a it's a solutions platform. Now it's used to raise money, funding, right, for specific purposes. Um, it allows us to reach global audiences easily, rather quickly, actually. Uh, in other words, the reasons for the campaigns that we create through Obless is going to be to get money, to obtain funding, to raise money to help those people that need it. And for the most part, <clears throat> excuse me, um, we won't, as, as somebody creating the account, we're not going to have to administer the program. Uh, on passive, it's going to administer the program for free, right? Um, and it's going to be using 100% of the proceeds that are collected, right, going to the project it, that, or, or the cause as outlined in the campaign. I mean, the campaign, every, every bit of it is all going to it. So, I mean, that in itself is huge. I don't know anybody else that's doing that, administering it and putting all the money, right? They're not taking a piece of it or a portion of it. They're actually, they're footing the bill for administering the program and sending all the money to wherever it needs to go. So, of course, <laughs> the user's going to have to set the campaign up. So you've got to do something. But when you do, we're not going to have to worry about things like, currencies or exchange rates or or anything like that because obless uses a multi-currency feature uh it allows global access to different currencies countries right uh from um from within various countries that will uh flow in and through on passive with exchange rates and stuff 
really easy and very conveniently, right? And additionally, there's lots and lots of reports and other features. There's other resources within OBLESS that we'll be able to use to not only create, but we can find funding for it. We can track the projects as we go. I mean, it's it's just an incredible, incredible platform. And it's given by Passive to the world. And we are blessed enough to be able to use it. So we don't have to develop our own way to connect what we want to do with OBLESS to get things done. It's going to allow us to connect with donors, uh, individuals or companies, and that for the express reason of raising money to support the projects that we want. Rather, whether that's an emergency basis or something considered a charitable cause or whatever. Now, you can also do uh, searches within the system. Uh, it can be done by um, profile and, and, and time frames and project size and what country you want to be in and tons of other criteria, right? That will help us establish and track projects and causes that are near and dear to us. You know, something that we can grow and it, the, the projects can involve. And we can do this a couple of ways because you can access OBLESS as a campaigner, which is, that's the person setting it up or as a benefactor, which is a person saying, wow, I like this. I think I'm going to help fund it, right? It, so the benefactor is going to fund the product, but either project, but either way, whether it's an individual or a company or a co corporation, you can actually, there's nothing to say that it can't be both. You can be a campaigner and, and a, a, a funder. So anyway, OBLESS can be used to raise funds for projects and causes and just find all the people that are interested in funding it. Right. And as a benefactor, um, uh, you can find causes and campaigns and, and that sort of thing to kind of match what you'd like to do. So it runs the entire gambit. I mean, th there's it's such a complete program and such a beautiful thing that's been put in place to help the world that I just can't imagine it ever coming from anywhere except on passing. So anyway, in this way, OBLESS offers us a platform, a digital gateway, you know, uh, to the world, if you will, that campaigners can use to promote causes and connect with people that might support those causes. And like probably every other product in the digital ecosystem, OBLESS is AI driven, it's fully featured, uh, it's fully connected to everything else, it's fully functional. And this means all we need to effectively use OBLESS, right, to contribute to the, uh, to the mission of OnPassive in making the world a better place is the virtue or the quality of compassion. If we have compassion, then we're going to be able to be just fine. You don't need anything else because that's going to give you the true north. It's going to point you to what jazzes you up, what energizes you. It's going to give you the ideas so that you can then create in Oblast to be able to fund whatever it is that is in your heart. And that's going to allow uh, the passion to individually direct us on how we go forward with it. And OBLESS really makes that easy. So I know that was really a long, <laughs> that was a long way around. I guess I'm going around my elbow to get to my thumb to explain that compassion is what we need. Compassion is what's in Mr. Mufar's heart. It, it's what's hardwired in, you know, AI with heart within on passive. And we need to have that in our heart when we move forward to use OBLESS in the way that OBLESS uh, needs to be used. So um, now you also asked me something that was kind of interesting the other day. You said, you know, um, Mr. Mufar has a, said 80% of his success is showing up. And you asked, you know, can I give my thoughts on that? And I thought, absolutely, because I believe with, you know, 100%. Now about three weeks ago, um, well, let me explain that first before I go into that. Let me explain exactly what, what that is. 80% um, success is showing up. Uh, Mr. Mufar is talking about that. And you know that's because success of anything that we do is dependent on our ability to show up where and when it's needed, right? That means we show up physically, like arriving at the laptop or in the office or the workplace. We show up energetically, like taking care of ourselves so that we have the strength and the energy to do the job. 
and even showing up psychologically, like having, you know, the right training or the right mindset, and certainly having the resilience to achieve the outcome that we're looking for. And this is what we're talking about when we say showing up is half the battle, or in Mr. Mufar's words, 80% of success is showing up. That's what he says. And that's what he means. We need to be mentally and physically prepared to do the work once we get there. And getting there is a big, big part of making sure that we're successful. So about three weeks ago, uh, and this is kind of getting in, into an update uh, that, that started back then, Mr. Mufar let us know that there was a contest going on and the whole premise uh, for the contest was to visit the On Passage YouTube channel, view a video, uh, you know, throw a comment in there with the OES ID in it, make sure that you like it, subscribe to it, and then reference that video on, you know, whatever social media of choice that you've got. Um, that was a very interesting, man, that, I mean, that really, <laughs> that jazzed a lot of us up, but if you missed the details of that, you can go back and uh, look in the back office, you can, you can see the write-up on that. Now, a few days ago, uh, Mr. Mufar introduced another contest. I saw uh, that Mabel, your your uh, introduction here pointed to it. And it's gonna be running through the end of this month. It's gonna have five winners and it's gonna dole out some $21,000 in money prizes to those winners. And to find out more about that, you can log into the back office. You're gonna get the pop-up. It's gonna explain all the details and just, Go do what it calls for, right? I mean, this is our company and we need to be willing to be able to help with the boosting of whatever whatever we're doing. You know, we need to participate in what's going on. And these contests are really going to boost the algorithms of the YouTube channel on, and everything is going to give us a lot of good marketing power. Um, some high powered marketing is going to be uh, coming out of that. I mean, you've already shown up here, right? You've already shown up. You're already a founder and you're already interested. So go knock out that last 20%. And I think you have some fun with it. Now, yesterday, Mr. Mufara joined on Passing 360, uh, said some very interesting things. And, uh, you know, for right, out of his, right out of his head came, are you ready for an exciting ride? Right? Uh, and uh, true with our theme here, he even later asked, are you going to show up? Well, we've shown up, and yeah, I think every one of us are ready for an exciting ride, and it's starting. He went on to talk about uh, some of the things that we're going through and some of the things we can see. Uh, first of all, he was talking about O-Connect. Uh, you know, it's going to be the, one of the first paid products out. It's very interesting, and O-Connect, he says, is going to be able to make up for some of the boring things that happen on some of those webinars, right? And uh I mean, we're all aware of the, the awesome dashboard, uh, the graphics display. I mean, I love the way it looks and the way it works. To me, it's just absolutely awesome. We know about the fun emojis, you know, uh, the resounding features. Oh, by the way, there are sounds uh, that were built in, but more have been added recently. And he's, he said, you know, that we're also going to have the ability to add in our own resounds to, to make them and add them so that we can just use them at a touch of a button. Uh, backgrounds. Uh, like the resounds, there are backgrounds that are built in. And again, he said, you're going to be able to put your own backgrounds in there and create those and use those as a will. So now he went on to say um, that he and the team didn't want to go too far in the paid product that will connect without having uh, disruptive AI components. And, and some of those he said were, were done, right? I mean, they're already done. Um, and he said, you know, it's, it's, it's the basic stuff they're getting into the better stuff, but the basic stuff like noise cancellation and such has already been done. Um, he, he let us know that once those things are implemented, it does take time. We've talked about this in the past, uh, uh, that it takes time for um, the machine learning, the AI in particular, the machine learning of AI, which is a subset of AI, to learn by how it does to involve and to mature. And, and the more that it works, the stronger and better and more accurate it gets. And that's the nature of machine learning. But get this, for the first time ever, we're gonna have speech to speech. Uh, and that's, that's a direct translation. That's not from the recording, but live in real time. Um, he said that right now we're talking about English 
right, as the translated language or the language that we can translate from English to another language. And that translation is going to be in real time. Uh, you know, I got to say that just kind of blows my mind uh, how they can do that so quickly and on the fly like that. But he did indicate there will be a little latency. I mean, there's going to be a little bit of a lag time, perhaps a few seconds. But we're also going to be able to choose the avatar we want, select the gender, the accent, right? Um, and through all of that, we're going to be hearing what's being said in our own language in real time. And I just, I don't know how they do it, but I think it's phenomenal. Now, some of us can remember when we were talking about these things, uh, I think two or three years ago, he was saying, hey, we're going to have this capability and this is where we're going. And now guess what, man, I mean, they, their head's in the game and they're putting it out. And now this, now some of the things that he was talking about back then are actually showing up in the products. So there's lots of exciting stuff going on. And there's a whole lot of pride uh, in the teams of On Passage, uh, On Passage, excuse me. Um, Ash also said that when they were adding something, which was kind of curious, in with the OConnect display that's going to be able to uh, amuse, I guess, the users, for lack of a better word. It's going to be a unique uh, in, uh, innovation that's going to be able to add to uh, the overall cleverness, I think, of the platform. But it's going to be able to captivate or, or, or perhaps capture the attention of the attendee, right, when that particular webinar hits a boring spot or spots that are <laughs> perhaps devoid of content. But either way, the bottom line is that OConnect, which is about to be introduced commercially as a paid product, is more uh, humanized in a way and a lot more fun than what we've seen in anything already out there. And I, I think that's probably true of most of OnPassive's uh, products. Now, Mr. Mufara spoke about OTracker as well, which is about to get introduced commercially too. And OTracker is a web analytics program. It, it's got more features than any other web analytics tool out there. And actually, once you get your domain, which we'll get through O domain through o, uh, on passive, then it's automatically going to be integrated with that. So that's going to be absolutely phenomenal. And just for those that may not know, or for the audience here that, that may not be aware, OTracker is a a top of the line web analytics tool uh, to simply put just to make your business operating your business easier simpler right uh, it's high quality uh, arguably the best AI driven analytics tool out there on the net bar none uh, I mean it works better it's got more tools easier to use uh, and costs less that's a big deal than what the big tech giants or anybody else is currently offering um, there's a intuitive dashboard for analyzing the web traffic, uh, trapping your visit, tracking your visitor rather, your actions you know, on, the, on the website, monitoring its performance. Uh, the tabs on the dashboard uh, actually make performance tracking effortless. Uh, I mean, it, it allows you to understand and analyze your user behavior through detailed real time analytics. And those things include things like heat maps and geofencing capabilities and such. I mean, just absolutely a phenomenal, phenomenal product. Uh, you can, un, un, with those things, you can actually uncover um, how the user navigates your website. And based on that, you can infer uh, certain things and make better marketing decisions. Uh, you can also use things like uh, IP blocking uh, to deny access to bad actors and such you know just by clicking on ip address and geographical location so um anyway uh you can monitor and uh control the user experience um, view analytics do notifications and then you can download and share uh web trafficking reports i mean there's lots of reporting features and you can do most all of these things with a single click and mr Mufar went on to say though uh, and this is this is new for a lot of us that they're expecting it to be integrated with Omail, which, for instance, if you go out with a broadcast email to a lot of people, you're going to be able to see who opened up that email, when it was opened, you know, whether they clicked the links in it, and a lot of other things. 
He also mentioned that they're looking at coming out with another product, Omail Pro, which is going to include a solution that no other email con uh, communications platform on the planet has. So we can look forward to that. I think that's going to be phenomenal and probably aimed at, I would imagine, by the title for companies or businesses or corporations. But um, also, as a, as a bit of a sidebar and kind of I've been talking for a while, kind of closing this up. I've gotten questions about one or more of the paid products that we are uh, having uh, anticipated by the end of June. And I can understand, you know, eh, there's a little disappointment, but I also know that we're doing on passive is doing things that has never been done before. And there are a tremendous number of moving parts. And by that, I mean, there are tons of intricate, sophisticated components that all have to work together simultaneously and that are interconnected with each other at varying levels that include not only financial software, but all of the individual programs and the components and the resources and the tools and the products and all of it, right? Not to mention the AI automation that runs through the entire business. Now, actually, Mr. Mufar went on to talk about some of the anxiety or the anticipation some folks are feeling as we get ready to release these commercial products, which is going to be pretty soon. I mean, you know what? He's asking, are we ready? And there's a big difference between the beta testing that we've gone through, right? The building of the products, hooking them all together, and what we're going through right now, because we're reaching the end of what he called the build phase. And that product that comes out of that funnel, so to speak, has got to be flawless. And by that, I mean that when we go public, these things have got to be perfect because the public, as we know, can be rather unforgiving and they are not going to be kind to us if we give them anything less. So hang on to your hat. All right. He went on to say that just like NASA, right, on passive, does not consider failure in any form of the word, in any sense of the word, to be an option. So you can rest assured that when we release our first commercial products, um, starting with OConnect, it's going to make some pretty big waves simply because there's nothing to compare it for, to. That I mean, it's gorgeous. It's, oh, it's awesome. And anyway, I say that to say that, hey, we're making great strides and we are in great shape. And Mr. Mufara and the entire team is, uh, I mean, they're bringing us across the line, right? Um, now, he did talk a little bit about the pricing of OConnect. I'm not going to get into that too much, but if you want to hear more about that, check out the uh, 360 that he did yesterday. And he also addressed it uh, on, on Robin and Live. So I would encourage you to go check that out as well. But other than that, I'm kind of, done with what I was saying, Mabel, I want to thank you guys so much. You guys are so wonderful and I love you so much. And if there's anything I can help you with, if you have any questions, if I can, whatever, hey, I'm here for you. I'm not going anywhere today until you click the close button. Exactly. Thank you so much, Jeffrey, first of all, for coming and sharing your heart out. We, uh, at least I took notes, you know, and uh, the floor is open for anyone who have any question. But before that, let's get your good friend, Dr. Bill Williams, to say something uh, for the night, Dr. Bill Williams. Thank you, Mabel. Hey, Jeffrey. <laughs> Stellar performance from a really wise fellow today. <laughs> uh, oh, just Dr. Dr. Bill, oh, thank you. You are, you're a blessing, man. Thank you. Uh, I wouldn't miss hearing your summary. Uh, I'm surprised you stayed up till one o'clock last night like the rest of us. You caught it all. Your summary was excellent. And, uh, you know, I enjoy the heart of On Passive because it runs right through Jeffrey Morlock's heart. Ash and Jeffrey, they were they were kind of born in a split second together with the same heart. And we're fortunate that Jeffrey shepherded many of us into on passive in the very beginning. You know, he was one of the original leaders and we've gained a lot from your inspiration. And I, I always follow what you say, I always listen, I learn, 
and I'm always motivated to come back to the center. You know, th th there's a true north. There's a center line that runs through on passive, and Jeffrey's one that brings people back from the fringes. People get off track sometimes, don't they? They think about other things. They get lost in their mind. But Jeffrey seems to stay centered, and uh, that's a good focus point for all of us to understand that your your true north, your true leaders, always bring people back to what's important. What is the purpose? I enjoyed Ash talking last night about his purpose. If it serves his purpose, that's all that matters. He's not about money. He's about being on his purpose, which is to uplift the world. And you know, he's got a true north that's really, I've never met a person with such a strong true north. His magnetic compass is far stronger than most of ours. You can't sway him with any leverage to go left or right. He's always going to go that path. So that's, that's the value of being in a company with a strong leader that you can follow him because he's got the best compass in town. I um, particularly enjoy being on, uh, on Passive Passion because the true north of On Passive Passion is the heart. That's the foundation of this group. And um, being associated with it for three years now, what's a better place to be than right here in uh, Asia, Singapore, Malaysia, the entire area is is just full of wonderful people. And we've all grown to love and respect each of these guys, Kumaran and Jeannie and Mabel. And, you know, everybody that's associated with this group in Singapore is a powerhouse. So I'm, I'm really not wanting to uh, get into too much today, but I, I had a thought today that Ash keeps ringing the bell. And I want people to think on the bell. The note that he rang on that bell was, we're not just going to own IT. We're going to own it. What a note. I mean, that is the note that should ring your bell. When you sit back and think about what you have in your hands, what are you grasping right now? You have it. And if you can figure out what it is, you probably don't have to have too many worries in the world. You can sit back on your lawn chair and look out over the meadow. You can look out over the ocean from your cliffside view. You can look at it from any angle you want. It's going to be pretty dang good. So here's to it. Whatever it is, you own it. Thanks, Mabel. Thanks, Jeffrey. Good, good job today, sir. Oh, bless you. Thank you so much. Dr. Bill, I appreciate you in ways you'll probably never know. <laughs> but thank you so very, very much. Um, Mabel, if I can ask, um, there was a second song, if possible. Can we play that at some point? It was done with uh, Renata and myself and uh, Tim Johnson, which is another unpassive song, that, as long as we're at it. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Okay. Uh, yes. Thank you for reminding me. And look out for this video. He has, Mr. Jeffrey Mullock has a wonderful voice. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Let's 
Humanity, and we say, on passive is the way. 